Head, heart, hands and health. Those are the words of 4-H clubs across the country. And now those clubs are targeting a wider variety of youth. I think it's more broad now. We're really pushing the photography, our foods and nutrition programs like Foods Challenge and um, Cupcake Wars. Kids don't have to be on a farm to get involved into. We want the kids that are just looking for something to do. They can learn the leadership, get some community service out of this, and just learn a skill or, or just come and have some fun. There's more to the organization than what would appeal simply to the farming crowd. Kids from all walks of life are encouraged to learn leadership skills and take part in community service. And National 4-H Week is just the time for them to get started. Kids that really work hard, they can get really big um, Houston or San Antonio scholarships in the end. Or even, you know, there's several other scholarships that we can help kids out. In the end, kids will see a direction for their future and, and kind of a way to get there, I think. Potter County 4-H is recognizing National 4-H Week with a month-long project benefiting Snack Pack for kids. The project will also give 4-Hers the chance to compete with one another to see who can bring in the most peanut butter and Pop-Tarts. October 31st on Halloween, we're going to have a trunk or treat right here on our on the fairgrounds. It's just going to be a safe location. Kids can come trick or treat. We're also going to have a haunted barnyard for the kids. We're going to bring in some 4-H kids animals. You got to bring some peanut butter or pop tarts to to get in, get active, and, and to help out the snack packs for kids. Randall County 4-H is also getting active for National 4-H Week. And Tuesday morning, Randall County Commissioner signed a proclamation honoring the program for its 105th year of providing youth-based education to kids in the county. Kendall Lee, Pro News 7.